everyone is doing well and all of that good stuff, I'm here on YouTube, I'm here on Facebook, Twitch, Instagram. I see you guys. Hello, 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 hello from Brazil. All right, we got some Brazilian folks in the house. I love it. My name is Angela Petrilli. I'm here with the newest edition of the Riff Rundown with the wonderful folks at Fishman. Another Fishman takeover. So, so happy to be here today. My name is Angela Petrilli. So thrilled to have all of you here, wherever you are tuning in from. Today, we are going to be learning Old Man by Neil Young, one of my favorite tunes to play on an acoustic guitar ever. It's just one of my favorite songs, period, the end. Love it. So uh, before we get started here, folks, let me know where you are tuning in from, wherever you are, and your favorite place to go and see live music, your favorite city to see live music. All right, how's that sound, folks? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play this song. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna break it up into chunks. We're gonna take it bit by bit, note by note, and have some fun along the way. So here we go. So there we go. We're going to break this up bit by bit. Old Man by Neil Young, recorded in 1972 in Nashville on the Harvest album. Yes, one of my favorite, favorite Americana albums of all time. I love me some Neil Young. Neil Young's one of my absolute favorites. So, all right, cool. We've got people in London tuning in. Thank you so much. We've got Toronto. We've got Bristol. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. New Hampshire in the house. Awesome. Again, this is a live lesson, no edits here, totally doing this live. And if you guys have questions too throughout the hour, I will be answering some of your questions. So type them in and throughout the hour, I'm gonna go ahead and answer as many as I can. Again, thank you all for tuning in here. We are going to be in standard tuning today with this song. We've got really cool, nice, open, dissonant chords, but also some chords that are fairly easy and identifiable for us, chords that we have played before that are in the nice cowboy chord section of the guitar, which is great. So we're gonna be talking all about that stuff today. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's talk about this intro. Really, really interesting chord here. We've got this really neat hammer on thing that's happening. And again, it's a very, very percussive intro. Chord itself, the way we're not just strumming it here. We're not doing that again. When we're playing this, I want you to think like a drummer, okay? Feel the pulse of this song as we play it. Notice here, and I'm gonna do this really slowly. You guys know how this goes. See, it's a very sporadic, it's well thought out, it's percussive, 
but we're not strumming it. Again, it sticks out in a really beautiful and different way than the rest of the song. So let's go ahead and talk about how we do this. First finger, put that on the fifth fret of the G string. That is our C. Go ahead and use your third finger, place that on the sixth fret of the B string. That is E, or that is F. And then the open E string. Put them all together. It's a little wacky, but it's awesome. So here's what we're gonna do here. When we strum this, I want you to do a hammer on. Allow that G string to be open, and then hammer on just like that. So let's just work on that. Just strum the, the chord. I know it's gonna sound a little weird, but just strum the chord and do the hammer on. Like that. We want to press just hard enough so that we get that, that G to C movement. Do it hard enough. If you do it too light, we're not going to hear it. You can get some buzzing. Like that stuff we don't want. So really be strong with good intent doing that hammer on there. And I play the open D string when I do it too, again, just to pronounce what's coming next in the next chord, which happens to be D just like that. Give it a good strum. But notice, we kind of, it, it, it chokes a bit. I'm just gonna strum this here, percussively, without doing any of the fancy stuff on the left hand. And this is something to think about too. When we are focusing on either the left hand or the right hand, whatever we are doing in the hand we're not focusing on, want us keeping it easy. Because again, we want to focus on the, the hand that we want to build up a little bit more, okay? So even just here, let's hold this, this wacky chord that we've got here on the fifth and sixth fret of that G and B string, okay? And I just want you to do this. It's kind of a hybrid of palm muting and strumming. See how you can hear the bit of my hand? This part here is hitting the strings. Nice and slow, guys, nice and slow. And just be sporadic with it here. I'll tell you what strings to hit in a minute. But see what I mean? So like that, that's what we wanna do. And again, take this slow. So what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna go ahead and put all these pieces together. Notice how that was a hit. D string, hammer on, strum with that first finger, hammer on on the G string, fifth fret, or C, and then out with the hand. In your up strum, hit the E string that's open. Get that good dissonance with that F that's right underneath it, okay? This is supposed to sound wacky. That's why the song is so great. I'm gonna do that again nice and slow, follow along. back to that that B string there okay so I'm gonna do this a few more times we're gonna go ahead and go to the D chord same shape okay slide it back to make our D suspended two okay so here's what's happening here first finger second fret of the G string that's our A Third finger, place that on the D note located on the third fret of the B string. Again, I want you guys knowing your notes when we do these lessons. I don't want to tell you just where to put your fingers. I want you to know what notes you're playing too. So from this chord here, again, keep it percussive to that D sus two. So. The E string is open, that's our two. That E, right? So then we bring down the middle finger, making it a B major chord. 
like that. So that's what we wanna do. Again, good, strong, well-intentioned fingers here. You, I want you to exactly know, okay, that second finger is hitting that F sharp. Don't be too soft about it. Again, we're gonna get thuddiness. We don't want that. Good intention when we do this. All right, go back and forth. Again, this is our, this is our really cool intro. So here we go, nice and slow, and then I'll build up the speed. Ending on that D note there on the third fret of the B string. Now what happens next is we're gonna go to D sus four. And we're gonna kind of strum it a little bit too. So. Going back to D. So D sus four, pinky finger, third fret of the E string, G. Back to our D major. What makes a D major? The F sharp right there. D sus two, lift the middle finger, exposing that E note. Cool stuff, right? I like to then hit the D note there on that third fret of the B string. If we were to highlight what notes are happening, it's a really good melodic thing that is happening underneath the chord. Keep that in mind too. Again, just adding good texture, good sound, good rhythm, good technique just makes for a great player. And that's what I want for all of you is all you guys to be great players. So here we go. Nice and slow, I'll build up the speed. So again, good intention, good strong hands when we play this. If we are playing too light, we're gonna get a lot of buzzing happening and that we don't want, that we don't want, okay? So that is the intro there. Now we go ahead and go on to this second part before the vocals come in, okay? So it sounds like this. bit of it. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Let's first talk about the chords that are happening here. We've got D with a suspension in there, always a good thing, to this F over C, which is really beautiful. I'm going to play this real quick. Reason why we call it F over C, that C right here, third fret of the A string, that's our C note that's being placed in the bass on top of the F chord. Pretty awesome chord. Regular old C chord, yay. And then we've got G. Now there are many ways that you could play this G chord. We'll talk about that in a second. So let's go ahead. I'll play it nice and slow again, then talk it through and let you guys know what's happening there. So here we go. Again, I'm gonna do this a few more times here, nice and slow. and clean that's how we want to get it so with D we start out with the D chord D sus 2 open up that middle finger playing that E string letting that ring coming back down okay so 
And again, keeping time here with the strumming. This right hand's really important. Keeping the time here. There can be a lot of places where we can lose our time. Count along. Also, too, something I suggest, even hum along if you know the words. Hum along to it, sing it quietly. Have that help you as well, okay? So here we go, nice and slow. Just like that, open. Lifting that second finger, bringing it right back down to that F sharp. And notice again, my picking hand here, I'm keeping the pick, the pointed end of the pick, pointed towards my stomach. We don't want un any unnecessary scrape, hearing those peaks and valleys. Keep it all consistent, nice and light. Let the pick do the work for you. You don't need to do any added muscle. As I say in these lessons, this is the cheapest amplifier you can buy, so use it, use it, use it, use it. It's a great tool. Okay, so there's our D. Now we go to our F over C. Okay, so how we are going to do this, lead with that first finger. First finger is gonna go on the first fret of the B string. That's our C note, okay? We're gonna go ahead and put our second finger on the second fret of the G, that is our A, your pinky finger, okay? Pinky finger is going to go on the third fret of the D string, that is your F. Your third finger, that goes on the C, third fret, A string. Now, what we want to do here is check it out. It's like almost a C chord-ish, <laughs> okay? It's almost a C chord-ish. You're playing the F chord, the C, the, the C, A, and F with your first finger, second finger, and pinky you are playing the C, the, the deeper C root with your third finger there. So when we strum this, just play the four strings in between. We're not playing any of the E strings here. So be mindful with your strumming. The second that E goes in, it's an F major seven over C, which sometimes can sound good in this. So if you happen to hit it, it's totally okay. But let's try not to. Okay, let's try not to. So that's a right hand technique thing. So, so keep yourself accountable with that, okay? So what we're gonna do here from that D sus, we're gonna mirror that again with another sus two chord, lifting that second finger up. Beautiful chord, right? So we still have, so we would call this an F sus two over C because we haven't removed that C root yet. That's what we want there, lifting that second finger, strum, put it back down. Let's do this a few times. Just like that. Again, good, strong hand technique here, very important. Okay, and again, slow and steady. You cannot play anything fast, you can't play slow. So take your time, you can do it. Like that, okay? Now let's put these two chords together. Next is a C chord. Awesome. We barely have to move anything. Keep the first finger and the third finger exactly where it is. Bring your second finger up to that second fret of the D string. That's our E note. Okay, that's our third of the C chord. All right, so that's how we want it to sound. That's how we get there from the F over C. To that C. Okay, so I'm going to take that. Nice and slow here. Here's how it sounds. Putting those three chords together. Okay. Now within the C chord, there's a little riff here that's happening. We are playing, we're, we're strumming the chord, but we're also playing some notes in there too to make this really cool riff. So I'm going to play that a few times here, talk you through how to do it yourself, okay? From the top to give some context. Country little little lick. Okay, let's talk about how we do it. We hit the C chord, 
lift that second finger. Now we're playing a C sus two. Then bring it back down, playing our C chord again, nice and slow here. Like that. Now you're gonna hit the G string. With your second finger, hammer on on the second fret of that G string too. That is our A. Now, pull off with that second finger, okay, playing that, that G note there. Just like that. Nice and slow, I'm gonna do that a few times here. Very cool little riff that you could put anytime you're playing a really cool C chord. This is something you can throw in, okay? Something to keep in mind. And again, all downstrokes here. We're not worried about any alternate picking stuff yet. Okay, we're gonna be hitting a little bit of that later. Just like that, okay? Now what happens here, open G string, we're going back. Open G string two, putting your second finger back down, but this time on the second fret of the D string, we're hitting an E note here. Okay, so if I play this nice and slow, here's how that sounds. Then lift up that second finger, playing the D string open, okay? Nice and slow, focusing on this riff within the C chord. Here we go. Nice and slow. And here's the thing, if you get some open strings in there, no problem, it's okay. play it a little bit faster. I'm gonna like stretch out my hand a little bit there. Okay. Again, this is all live folks. No editing here. We're doing this live. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you guys are having some fun learning this. Now immediately after we do this riff, we're gonna go to a G chord. Now, I like to play this version of G. That's just me. I find having that pivot finger within that third finger very easy to maneuver around with other chords. Now, if you wanted to do another version of G, say this one, you could, or even, you could too. Me, I like hitting the full G chord. How I play that is this third, second finger, third fret, E string, that's your G, first finger goes on the second fret of the A string, that is B, your third finger, third fret of the B string, that is D, D as in dog, and your pinky finger is playing G on the third fret of the E string. And you're gonna play all six strings. That's the way that I like to do it. But if you guys like that, like country-ish version, like the, like do that one, it's great. So again, nice and slow here, we're gonna go ahead and do that whole bit. D to that F over C with the suspended stuff happening to C with the cool riff, then going right to our G chord. Okay, so we're gonna do this nice and slow. And I will take some questions after we get through this bit. So here we go. That's the first part. Now, the second part is very similar. There's just an F chord that, that is like the penultimate chord or the second to last chord in this, in this phrase. So let's go ahead and do that again. I'll play it for you and then we'll break it down. It's just one little thing that's switched. It's pretty, pretty simple, you guys will catch on. And then we go to D. 
So here's what's happening here. This D sus to D to our F over C and F suspended to slash C is the same. We go to our C chord the same playing half of that riff. Then we do that with our F over C. All we are doing here is we are strumming the F over C. Give me a good down, up, down, nothing fancy here. Lifting that second finger, now making it a suspended two because we are playing that G note. Then to D. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do that a few times nice and slow, then build up the speed. Then I will take some questions live. So here we go. Just that one section and then I'll, I'll play the two sections together. Okay, hope you guys are having fun and, and hanging. This is such a fun song to teach and fun song to play. So here we go. Again. So that's what's happening there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all three of these parts of the intro that we've learned so far, and I'm gonna take your questions. So here we go. I'll play it a little faster. Percussive, right hand. Now to the next part. Let me do that again. <laughs> part two. You do that again. We're live. live folks love it love it love it again that is the first bit before the vocals come in on Neil Young's old man again my name is Angela Petrilli I am so so happy to be here I am doing another Fishman takeover the riff rundown where every Saturday at noon Pacific I go ahead and walk you guys through one of my favorite favorite songs to play on guitar again those of you just tuning in let me know where you're tuning in from and your favorite city to go and see live music because yes live music is coming back i'm so thrilled my band angela patrulli and the players i'm gonna be booking some shows in september starting in september so again if you guys want to find out more about my band and where we'll be playing be sure to visit my website angelapatrillimusic.com give me a follow on the instagrams and twitter and, and youtube and facebook and if you're digging this be sure to subscribe to all the awesome stuff that fishman is doing They've got some great stuff happening on their socials and some very cool pickups that are going to be coming out, guys. So, so excited. And those of you who watch Greg Koch may know what I am talking about. Oh, man, are those pickups awesome and cannot wait to get a set myself and do some lessons with them because they are absolutely killer. So, so yeah, keep an eye out for all of that good stuff that Fishman is doing. Um, yes, Tom, practice slowly. Love it. Yes. Do not forget that. That's what... It's what the pros do. We play slow. We learn things slow. We really digest the notes, how they are tying into one another, how we can blend and have this conversation between the left and right hand happening. When you are trying to chase a clock, that becomes very difficult to do. So again, take, take your time. Take a good deep breath. I'm a big fan of a good deep breath. 
take a deep breath when you practice, really set the space, set good intentions as you go and grab the guitar and, and, and really create some beautiful stuff. So I encourage you all to do that, I encourage you all to do that. So that's what's happening here with the intro of Old Man. Now, once we get to the verse, okay? So I, I, I'm gonna approach this in two different ways here. I'm gonna do one that's a, maybe a little bit more beginner based and one that's perhaps more intermediate advanced when we're looking at these chords in the verse. Now, if you are a beginner watching this and you wanna play the, the, the chords within the verse, here's the thing. The chords in the verse are D, F, C, and G. Sometimes the, the way in which they are, or at least the, the, the order in which they are played is a little bit different, but those are the four chords that we're dealing with here in the verses. So if we are beginners here, just go ahead and play D, F bar chord. If I'm being totally honest, I think it sounds a little better than if you did this. But if that's all you can do for right now, by all means, go ahead and do that. I'll do two versions of that. So we've got D, F, C, and G for that verse, okay? So this is, this is headed for my beginners. Don't worry, intermediates and advanced folks that are watching, I'm gonna, we're gonna do one right after this. But I wanna get my beginners taken care of first. And beginners, when I am teaching this stuff that is a little bit more advanced, you can still follow along with these chords. Totally, totally cool, okay? So here we go. F, C, G, again, D. Now this goes to F to D, okay? So that's what's happening. I'm gonna do that nice and slow. This is for my beginners. We're just looking at the chords here for the verses, nice and slow. Then I'll build up the speed. Again, keep moving that right hand, your strumming hand. We wanna keep this consistent, nice and good and strong. So down, down, up, down. Or down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, strumming pattern. Here you go. A little slower. this version here. If you notice on the first pass I did, I had my thumb up here and then I moved it down. Reason being with this chord here, we want that pinch. If I had a camera here to see the back of the neck of the guitar, you would see that. You want them looking at each other, like pretend there, there was a mirror right here. You want these two, that the fingerprints of your first and first finger and your thumb, you want them looking at each other when you're pinching here. If the thumb is up too high, it's gonna make this chord really hard to play. So for my beginners and maybe, you know, my, my intermediates and advanced folks who just need a little refresher, pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch on the bottom B and E string. You wanna make sure that's nice and clear. If we have that thumb up here, sometimes it could sound a little buzzy and a little thuddy that we don't want, okay? So my beginners, go ahead and play it that way. I think you'll enjoy it. Now for my intermediates, a little more advanced folks who are watching today. What we can do here is throw in a bunch of suspendeds on these chords. So lifting up, maybe making that a D sus two, lifting up that second finger, bringing it back down to make a D major. 
Maybe when you go to your F chord, do this. Maybe even include that C in the bass that we did earlier and go ahead and suspend it. Again, going to the C, perhaps suspending that too. And then going to your G. G is the same. <laughs> okay. So, so for my intermediates to advance, perhaps doing something like this. Maybe including a bar chord. Again, I want to give you guys different options on how to do this. My beginners, this is a good place. Again, it's a good goal set. If you're, if you're playing these bar or these regular chords, you want to do something a bit more interesting, go ahead and watch this back later when you're ready and see how we do those suspendeds. Again, lucky for us, when we happen to be playing this series of chords, we are lifting the second finger. We are lifting the second finger to make our D major a D sus2 putting it back down. We are also lifting our second finger to make this F an F sus2. And we are also making our C major a C sus2 by lifting up the second finger. So again, just some good little tricks that you can think about too, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and play the intro to that little intro bit that we did and then into the verse. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna play it to speed. That was my beginner pass. Let's go ahead and do a verse for my intermediates and my advanced. Here we go. F suspended. C suspended. G. D suspended. F over C. Suspend that. C to F. Again. this riff. So let's talk about that riff. What is happening there? Lucky for us, it's G, A, B, C, D. So if you know the alphabet from G, we can go ahead and play that riff. Here is how we do it. You're going to get your second finger. Put that on the third fret of that E string. Open A string, that's our A note. Next note is B. Cool, we know that A and B are a whole step apart in terms of guitar, that's two frets for us. Okay, so two frets, second fret, A string, there's your B. B to C, half step. B to C, second fret to third fret, using that second finger. D string, play it open, there's your D note. Okay, so just like that, I'm gonna do that nice and slow, just the riff, 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and for some context put it with the F chord to the G chord then the riff okay and again if you guys have questions type them in I'm gonna get to them in a minute and thanks for tuning in I hope you're having fun with this one I know I am almost like the beginning of a G major scale right that alternate picking that I was talking about right here is where you want to use it okay I don't want downstrokes here I don't want that nice alternate picking top and bottom of the string alternating between those notes see how much more fluid that sounds alternate pickings where it's at folks That's the riff. G, A, B, C, D, open string. Okay, so now what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go ahead, play an F chord, I'm gonna do it as a bar chord, to G, just regular cowboy chord version of that G chord, then into the riff, okay? Just to give you some context, I'm gonna do it slow and then build up speed. speed here the alternate picking is really 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 going to help you with getting this smooth and nice and fast and two tempo okay let's do it again <laughs> not that we're not playing blues let's do that again okay not doing that that'll be another lesson um <laughs> that's funny all right so now i'm going to go ahead play the verse with the riff i'll do it slow and then to speed and then i'll leave some time for some questions for all of you so here we go this is the verse That's what's happening there. I'm gonna do it again a little bit faster. This is the entire verse. So D, F, C, G, D, F, C, F, D, F, C, G, D, C, F, G, then our riff. So here we go. that's what's happening there okay nice and slow take your time with this keep in mind too our pivot points and our similar finger positions with the chords that are here with D and F no or there's F no fingers are in common however when we go from F to C keeping that first finger there C is a note that the chord of F and the chord of C have in common so why lift up that finger if you don't need to that note is in both chords right so think about these things when you are playing these chords also we have our last chord of G at the end of that first stanza keep that third finger there pivot finger when you play your D chord notice how that third finger 
stays right there. Both both G and D have a D note in it, so keep your finger there. It's gonna make it's gonna make life a lot easier for you. All right. So again, any questions, folks? Can we give you all some time to write those down? Jot them down, folks. Um, claw hammer exercise for a newbie. Sure, why not? <laughs> the spider is a really good exercise, though. Like something like this. Really, really encourage you guys to, to, to do the spider. It's a really, really great one to use. Um, I see that there are some questions about gu the guitar that I'm using and the pickups that are being used in here. This is a Martin Triple 17E in Black Smoke. I love this thing. I know it is the famous guitar that you guys see on these lessons week after week. I absolutely love this thing. I have the Fishman Matrix VT Enhanced pickups in here shooting out to you wherever you are tuning in from as far as preamp di situation i have the fishman rs spectrum di as i mentioned every single time in these lessons because i i love it so much truly i've used it at every acoustic gig this this thing's probably been on thousands of gigs with me i'm not even kidding i i love it and it is just a really really important part of my acoustic rig so that is the fishman are a spectrum di the, the awesome silver box i just totally totally love it it's great from there amp wise i'm going through the fishman loud box performer really awesome amp i love it it's loud when they say loud box like they they mean it no kidding it's it's great so that's what's happening there all right again let's see can i play this on electric and just use excessive feedback well, you can use electric. I think the excessive feedback may be an issue. Talking about excessive feedback, the, uh, the RS Spectrum DI has an anti-feedback thing, which has saved me a ton during gigs. So yeah, if you're looking for a cool uh, acoustic DI imager, check it out. Uh, <laughs> awesome stuff, guys. Again, thank you. Thank you for all of these questions. Uh, strings, what strings am I using? I am using Daddario Nickel bronze acoustic string lights. That's what I've got going on here on this guitar. I love them. They sound good for a long time and they, they feel good. They're one of my favorite acoustic strings to play. They're super, super comfy and really, really awesome. Um, yeah. So again, if you guys are loving it and enjoying watching these, be sure to subscribe not only to the Fishman channels on YouTube and on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that good stuff. Be sure to give me a follow to Angela Petrilli Music on Instagram, angelapetrillimusic.com. You can check me out there. And again, it has been a joy. I think this is my 20th lesson, I think. I think this is number 20. It's either number 20 or, or number 19. But again, it's been so great seeing, I see so many familiar names week after week and I cannot thank you guys enough for tuning in. So let's go ahead and look at the rest of this song here. Ah, oh, thanks. I got this bracelet. Someone said cute bracelet. Got it in Austin. I love this thing. It was a, it was a birthday gift to myself. So there we go. Um, all right. Here is what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and play the part that comes immediately after the riff. Probably one of my favorite parts to play this song. So we have our riff that we just learned G, A, B, C, D. That's what's happening there. It's quick, it's beautiful, it's so melodic, and is not too terribly difficult to play. Okay, my beginners who are watching, you can totally do this too. Okay, so we've got D. And do a fun little D sus two there, or D sus four, how we do this. This D suspended four chord, we're getting our pinky down, third fret, E string. Bam, that's it. Notice the strumming down, up, down, up. Okay, let's do that a few times. Let's do it a little slower. Just like that. Okay, so that's what's happening there. Bring some speed to it. Just like that. Now we go to an A minor seven. Ah, oh, 
for, you know, how do, how do we play that? It's a scary name, how do we do it? No problem. We all know how to play an A minor chord, right? Lift up your third finger in that A minor. So there's your A minor seven. It's cool, jazzy cousin. Okay, so you've got that. Place your third finger, okay? We're gonna add a really cool suspension here if we're being. That's another sus four if we're A7 sus four. Comes after that, that's what that is whenever we put our pinky down on that A minor. Seven, pinky down, A7 sus four. All right, so here's how we do this slowly, including that D chord. It's quick, it's quick. So have that pinky finger ready. Notice how my fingers are nice and curled here and then ready to play that D note when it's time. Okay, so I'm gonna do that nice and slow. like that. Let's do that again. Bam. That's it. Again. Now, the next chord, we're going to play it this way. It may seem a little strange. It's even a little bit strange for, for myself, too. This is an E minor seven. I know we're used to playing it like this. Like in the Wish You Were Here. But we're gonna play it a different way in this song. Here's how we're gonna do that. Keep that, that pinky finger where it is on the third fret of that B string. It's gonna come in handy later. Use it as our pivot point here. We're coming from that A minor, or that A seven sus four, right? Get your second finger and put it on that second fret of the A string. That's your B. Okay? Lifting that first finger. I'm not going to use it quite yet. It's a nice and open E minor 7. So that's what we're going to play. So I'm going to do the, that series of chords nice and slow. Play it to speed. And then we're going to add a G chord at the very end. But we'll do this a few times first before we do that. Okay? So here we go. Lifted it again. Let's do it a little faster. A few more times. Let's keep it moving. chords right with this E minor 7 2 feel free to strum everything even that big E string strum that too or, there we go like that okay so it's happening here immediately we've got play the right chord Angela let's do this okay so we've got the E minor 7 like this go ahead and play a G chord next here's how we would do this so to give it a little context D Switch with your first finger. We're about to play a G chord here. First finger goes second fret A string. Your second finger goes on the second or third fret of the E string, that's your G. And then if you want to play the full G chord, like me, I, I, I just like this version of the chord better. I, I will go ahead and put my third finger down on the third fret of the B string and then pinky finger down on the third fret of the E string. So, so the notes we're playing are D and G respectively, okay? Now, if you want to do something like this instead, and then, or that, 
that's fine too. You can go ahead and play that other version of G with that open B string. Instead of playing the fifth, you're playing the third. That's fine. I just like that one a little better. That's just me. So I'll go ahead and play both versions. And again, up to your ear, whatever you like better, play it. It's, it's, it's both are G chord, so it's cool. So here we go, nice and slow, and then I'll build up the speed. It's a quick switch. Really cool upstrum to hit that G chord. Okay, again. That's the one I like, so that's the one I use. So then we go that that part, so the Oh man, take a look at my life, I'm alive like you. Or it would be E minor 7 instead. That's where that part comes in. We're gonna keep repeating this, okay? So. Quick G chord. Now we would go to that part of the intro to our F over C. And do that bit there, okay? That came right after this part. So that's what we would do there after all of that. It's a really, really beautiful song. Those are those are the most of the parts that we'd we've done today. Also, Jeopardy fun fact, Linda Ronstadt is singing background vocals, as is James Taylor, and James Taylor's playing banjo on this too. So if that is ever on Jeopardy, and they say who, who played, you know, who sang background vocals and, and played banjo on, uh, on Old Man, you'll, now you know the answer. So I always like to throw a couple of those in in these lessons. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and play through everything we have done so far. I'm seeing questions come in too. I'm going to answer some of those. And that's pretty much it, folks. It's a really beautiful song. So I hope you guys are having fun and, 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 and feeling confident that you can learn this because it is such a fun song to play. Talk about a good campfire song. People lose their minds when, when, when you bust this one out. Trust me. Whenever there's a party and there's a guitar and I'm there, someone always hands it to me. It's like, play Old Man by Neil Young. So I'm like, okay. So there you go. So now you know how to play it. So here we go.
for the most part, those are all the parts there, folks. That is, that is Old Man, one of my absolute favorite songs, and it has been such a joy to teach you guys how to play it today. So yeah, let, let me know how it's going too. Be sure to tag me in your videos when you're learning this, when you got it down, and tag me and the folks at Fishman. I'd love to see how things are coming along for you. But again, really, really fun song to play. And, and, and fairly easy, not too, not too bad. There's some cool techniques, but again, feel free to make it your own too. Add some really cool suspensions in the verses and in the chorus. There's, there's lots of really beautiful ways to play this. And again, Penny is mentioning it too. You're taking the words right out of my mouth. I was just gonna say this. He plays it different every time too. So, so don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have to play it exactly like the record. I have to play. He plays it different every time too. Make this song your own. This is such a beautiful song. And I really encourage you to look up the history behind this song. It's a really, really great story. I don't want to spoil it for you, but go and read up on how, you know, what, what made him write this song. It's really, really cool. It's really, really cool. But yeah, such a fun song to play, such a fun song to teach. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you had a great time and had fun today, be sure to follow Fishman, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my channel as well, Angela Petrilli Music on the YouTubes and Facebook and Twitter and all of that good stuff. AngelaPatrilli.music.com is where you can check out when I'm gonna be playing live with my band. Live music is back. I'm gonna start booking shows in September of 2021. So have an eye out for that. And my first show is gonna be in Los Angeles. So those of you in LA, mark your calendar. It's gonna be great. Again, thank you all so, so much. I wish you well. I wish you a day filled with music and good times. Again, let me know how this is going for you. And don't worry, Tom, I'm going to be teaching more Neil Young soon. So again, thank you all so much. Take care. Happy playing. And I'll see you next week with an